Okay, guys, welcome to your love reading for Libra. This is going to be for October 2024, second half of your October, from the 16th to the 31st. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So, we are going to take a look and see what is going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Just uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. All right. So Libra, what messages do we have here for Libra in love and the person that they're connecting with for the second half of their October from the 16th to the 31st? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Libra. All right, so Libra, we have the double Capricorn energy, the world. It's kind of like an energy of like, no more, no more saying, no more double. Like, I'm done with you. I'm done with this energy here. I'm done with the toxicity, done with this toxicity here, and you're moving on from this here. Yeah, I see, it seems like you're kind of like in this energy of like breaking free and running away from this here, all right? So, you know, I do feel like you're definitely freeing yourself, disengaging from a very toxic relationship that you dealt with here, okay? With the Four of Swords here and the High Priestess here, I feel like this is, this is you knowing that this is the right thing to do here. We have the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, and the Knight of Wands, your Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I mean, it could be a situation that you're dealing with someone who's very secretive here. Someone who's very in and out, very inconsistent here. Someone who has, that has really let you down here, okay? Right, do you feel like this person has a pattern of doing this here? You know, being all lovey-dovey, you know, showing you a great time, you know, talk to your ear off, you know, talking your ear off, just really engage. And then the next moment, this person is disengaged here. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, talking about the four swords here and the hangman. You're changing things up on this person here. Yeah. And I feel like this person's not going to like it when you do that. The High Priestess and the Ten of Wands here. Yeah, you're releasing this person. You're letting this person go. You just can't take on this burden anymore here. We have the Knight of Wands here and the Two of Cups. I mean, this is definitely a strong soulmate connection here, but I feel like you're realizing that this is a situation here that is very, 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 very not normal, I would say. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of like I feel like you feel like you've been uh, you've been on a roller coaster ride with this individual. All right, what else do we have here for? Libra. What else does Libra need to know? Tell me about Libra's person. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Libra? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Libra for the second half of their October from the 16th to the 31st? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Libra. We have the stream card that flipped out here. Leo energy. We have the star, Aquarius energy. We have the full, Aries energy. Two of Wands. We have the Emperor, Aries energy. Ace of Swords. All right. 
So what is this person's true feelings and intentions? I mean, I feel like this person does see you as a one here, but I also feel like this person has options here. Look, if this person had options here, this person could be getting rid of the options here. This person is definitely maturing and growing up and changing here. I mean, it could be that, you know, this person changes because in a way, I feel like this person also wears many masks here too. So I would be careful with this individual. The star card. The justice card. Libra energy. The fool. And the eight of swords. Two of wands. And the page of swords here. Uh, to be quite honest here, I'm starting to believe that this is like the karmic here. Like I feel like it's the energy of like Jekyll and Hyde. Like I feel like you never know what you're going to get with this individual here because now this person is coming up very normal, very grounded, very stable here. But also unstable at the same time because this person can switch at you at any moment here. The Emperor. Five of Wands. Seems like whoever this is, I do feel like this person is ready to fight. Yeah, this person is ready to fight here. The Ace of Swords and the King of Wands here. Aries, little Sagittarius energy. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like if you're dis disappointed, if you're angry or something like that, this person will flip the script on you and this person will become really angry to sort of take the heat off them and start blaming things on you here. Okay, what else do we have here for Libra? What else does Libra need to know, look out for, work on when it comes to this love situation for the second half of late October from the 16th to the 31st? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Two of Swords. And the Three of Cups. Ace of Cups. Wow. I'm kind of concerned with this energy here. Yeah. Uh, I just feel like Libra, if you've been in the situation for a while here, I do feel like it's starting to affect your mental health here. I mean, it seems as though they don't want anybody else but you. They're trying to win you back here. But I also feel like their their energy is really stressing you out or that you're you're feeling really anxious around this person. The King of Cups. Three of Swords. Five of Swords. In the King of Pentacles, this person is all over the place. All over the place here. With the Ten of Swords and the Two of Swords. This person will definitely hurt you again here. Wow. I'm telling you, Libra, this is quite a rough reading here because I feel like I just feel like you're just extremely confused, extremely lost here. I feel like you're stressed out. I feel like you're anxious here. I feel like you're betrayed. I feel like you're hurt here. And I just feel like this person's like playing with you. This person's messing with you here. With the Six of Swords here and the Three of Cups, uh, this connection is not really going anywhere. The Ace of Cups here and the Three of Wands. The Nine of Swords. And also we have the Ace of Pentacles here. Whoa. It seems like there's a reconciliation that's happening here, but you know, I don't feel like this is a, a, a situation that's really going to last here or that it's really going to stick or anything is going to really change here because this person is just doing the same thing over and over again. So uh, Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.